What's going on, Jameson Jambits? It's Fire Monkey here, and in today's YouTube video, I want to talk about Fortnite's summer event that is currently ongoing. Some of you may not even have even known there's a summer event going on because they haven't really advertised it between one to two tweets here and there, and the news feed on like day one. I mean, nowadays when I log into Fortnite, right? Like I logged in this morning, the news feed didn't mention the summer event to me at all. It was talking about how we have the new Wolverine skin in the item shop. It was talking about I think like a creative map or something and Lego Fortnite and all that stuff, but it wasn't actually talking about the summer event that is currently ongoing, aka All Sweat Summer, as you can see right here, and I think that's a little bit of an interesting thing, because if you were to hop into the game right now, play without even looking at your quest menu, you wouldn't even know that a summer event is currently ongoing. And I kind of want to talk about how they've kind of executed this one, and in my opinions, on it, because it is a whole entire situation that I definitely think the community as a whole have been kind of, you know, discussing back and forth, back and forth, at least over on social media. So firstly, what is the summer event? What is All Sweat Summer even about? Well, the short answer and the, the accurate answer based on what we currently have available to us is it's a quest event. You get two quests per day that you're able to do. They're all relating to actually just playing the game a lot, and that's it. You do a lot of quests, you get yourself a wrap, a glider, and a back bling, and the back bling has a few other variants that you're able to actually use. But it is basically a glorified quest event. They're not unvaulting any specific items, even if you look at the quests that are unreleased, they're not set to unvault anything. They're not going to go ahead and actually give us LTMs or anything, like Air Royale or anything like that, for the summertime. No, the only thing they're actually doing here is giving you quests to do, but this time it doesn't even feel like Summer Quest, right? Because they all have references to just sweating, which I guess could be summer themed, especially when it's like 80 degrees outside and stuff recently. Fahrenheit, of course, you know, if that was Celsius, we would all basically be burnt alive, I'm pretty sure. But it isn't something that really has much significance in terms of being very summery themed. I mean, if we look at the quests that we currently have available, reach top 50 players in zero build three times. Actually, hold on one second, I'm getting shot at by enemies in the game. Let's do some damage here. But the other one was to reach top 50 in building enabled battle Royale three times, right? It is literally just quests that are like, play the game three times, play the game, play the game, play the game, you know, but instead of it just being play the game, it's play the game with these specific rule sets, such as play the game with building enabled, play the game with building disabled three times, get top 50, which basically just means survive more than three seconds. Don't land at a hot drop and you'll probably complete one of the stages easy peasy, right? But the other quest we've actually started getting as time has gone on is reach the top 10 players. So play the game again? And then we have damage players from beyond 40 meters. Okay, that one's a little bit more interesting. Interesting as well that they put the actual completion thing as 1337, which is elite, of course, you know, all that type of stuff. It is something that I wouldn't expect them to really do, but at the same time, they did end up doing it. And I mean, one of the other quests here is literally the multi-stage quest of just eliminate players, and it doesn't make sense to me why this is the summer event, and why if this was going to be the summer event the entire time, they had to delay it so long until it actually ended up releasing in the game. Because you guys know that we We've had this in the files for around like half a month to a month now, and they just waited it until recently in order to actually give us it, and instead of just giving us all the quests day one, it is another drip-fed system where it's slowly giving us quests over time, and let me tell you, I understand people will enjoy XP. Listen, I enjoy XP. I'm level 230 in the game. I've been leveling up on another account as well. It is something that I'm fine with. I'm fine getting some nice little XP, because at the end of the day, who doesn't enjoy some extra free levels for their battle pass, right? But at the same time, when you have a whole entire summer event that typically in the past has gotten a lot of people to actually play your game, and I hang out with some friends who I met from Fortnite and everything, and they tell me that they haven't even touched Fortnite in like a week or two, and while the summer event's gone on and everything else, no one's even really wanted to touch the game to try it out, because there is nothing to try out, it definitely becomes an interesting situation where it's just like, huh, what is going on here? Is the summer event even something that we should have been excited for? Should this even have existed in the first place? And personally, in my opinion, I feel like the summer event this year was never meant to be the All Sweat Summer quest line. I know that sounds weird. It's like, what do you mean it's not supposed to be there? They literally made it for this event and everything else. Why would it not supposed to be existing or whatever else? But if you actually look in the leaks and everything, we had other summer themed rewards, such as a duck pickaxe that never ended up getting released and most likely isn't going to get released because it isn't said to be sold in the item shop or anything like that. I think we even have like a spray here and there that was supposed to be for the summer event that never ended up releasing. And instead of getting these extra rewards, the only thing we did end up getting in the game was just, hey guys, you know, here is um here's some quests to do. Here's a glider, here's a wrap, and here's a back bling that we added last minute. Enjoy. Now, I'm not saying they were made last minute, but it feels like they were just kind of last minute cop outs compared to what they originally could have put in the summer event. Because let me tell you, when the event got added to the files, I had a lot of people constantly asking me, 
did you just blow up my car? Okay, but I had a lot of people constantly asking me, being like, how do I get the pickaxe? Because a lot of people actually wanted that specific pickaxe I just mentioned to be added to their account. They thought it was going to be a free reward or whatever because it matched the summer theme and it had a duck theme, which as we can see right here by a back bling, is something they do for the summertime, but nope, it wasn't used at all. And I definitely think that in my personal opinion, in my brain, what I think the reason the whole entire summer event is like this is because of, is because they wanted to put more actual focus into the collaboration events. What I mean by that is, as you guys know, we have the Metallica event that started when the whole entire update came out, or actually started in last update, I think, and that was actually fun to actually have, right? You know, you had quests for Battle Royale, you had Rocket Racing quests, which are still available, and you had Fortnite Festival quests on top of all of that, and that went on for a decent amount of time, but then those quests ended, we had a few days of kind of just nothing going on in the game, and now we have the summer event. Now, the summer event really just doesn't feel like much, it just feels like they give us extra, like, XP rewards for just playing the game we've already been playing for a while now, but it is something that they kind of enabled, but I definitely think that the main purpose of this event, just kind of being a quest event nowadays, is because right afterwards, right on the 19th, which is in like a week or two, we're getting the parts of the Caribbean collaboration in the game. So I definitely think that the reason they're doing all this type of stuff, and the reason why this event feels really lackluster and doesn't really feel like they put much effort into it, is because they didn't. They put much effort into the Metallica collaboration, they put more effort into the Pirates of the Caribbean collaboration, and they didn't really want to focus on a summer event, they just they were like, you know, we do these all the time, so let's just go ahead and do it once again, but let's not go ahead and, you know, put as much focus as we put in it before, because nowadays you got to keep in mind, with Fortnite being the Fortnite hub and everything, and with them having all this type of stuff that they've been doing, you know, with all these collaborations happening back to back to back a lot more often, it isn't really something that you're expecting them to really focus on as much when these things, such as Pirates of the Caribbean uh, collaborations, you know, like Metallica and all that type of stuff, and even the item shop collaborations will make them more money than doing a summer event would but in my personal opinion you know does the summer event kind of suck Yes. Now, I'm not trying to say go harass a developer, right? Don't do that because, listen, Twitter is wild. They'll find the smallest change in this game and harass a dev over it. No one deserves to be harassed over this event being bad. It's just my personal opinion based on the events we've had before compared to now. But I definitely think that the developers and everyone else have still cooked when it comes to stuff like Pirates of the Caribbean, Metallica, all that type of stuff. So right now, this feels like a down period before we get the better events and collaborations and stuff happening later on during this current version of Fortnite, which which will lead us to the next game update. But yeah, in my personal opinion, I don't really like All Sweat Summer. I mean, like, the most interesting part about this All Sweat Summer event to me is clicking on these and seeing the very weird dialogue pop-ups, like, reach top 10 players. I have a feeling it's going to get a lot sweatier. Damage players beyond 40 meters. It's not just me, is it? It's so hot, right? Like, that is, like, the most interesting part about the summer event to me personally, and I don't know if that is supposed to be the most interesting part, right? It just feels like... That, that is what is more entertaining to me than actually wanting to log in for the summer quest anymore. But until next time, peace out.